Hey everybody, welcome back to Deb's Soul Mill. <laughs> <laughs> Deb will be milling some black walnut today. The video you're about to see was actually done a few days ago. Um, so today we're busy getting ready for our first measurable winter snow. They're calling one to three. Around here that's measurable enough. We're not that far north. We have to worry about blizzards every time the snow blows. But as you can see, woodshed starting to empty out. We're down in the, we're into our second row. Yeah, it's just working out really well. It was a quick fix for uh, a firewood shortage we got into. We don't have to worry about that anymore. So both sides are filled and we are back on schedule for our firewood. Um, we got lots of black walnut. This is actually number two of the Black Walnut Marathon. We got a lot to do, a lot of black walnut to do.
gonna cut it. All right, everybody, let's see what happened here. All right, we had one here. Believe it or not, it just caught the very edge of it. There's nothing left in the log here. We hit a second one here. Again, same thing, nothing left in the log. Third one here, and uh, left a tiny little piece in here. We went down a little further and it was cutting okay. And a little wavy cut, you try to get through the end of your cut. And uh, what happened was a blade Jump the, the blade uh, dove really hard right here. Came off the roller blade guides, the blade guide rollers, and uh, push it back off the off the uh, drive wheel. That was that additional grinding you heard. That's it right there. A little half inch of nail left in the log, and that's it. Nothing left anywhere else. Walnut. <laughs> First piece of board coming off. There's that green look to it, and as always with black walnut, until it oxidizes. This end's not the prettiest in the world, but we got a lot of good wood up here. Excellent. Nice looking stuff, yep.
All right, here's, before we pull these off, we wanted to get a shot of these four real nice ones up here yet. Uh, 10 inches wide, four quarter thick. Nice stuff. Just enough figure. And it's still just a little bit on the green side yet. The longer I let this sit here, I think it takes a little longer to oxidize in the cold. I really do. As you can see, we're down here where the, it's, the air came in from the end of the log already. It's a nice brown there. This is all going the same way. It's a really nice black walnut here today. The log wasn't too big. It was a good length and it was fairly flat or fairly straight. And we figured, well, it's worth getting some boards out of But I think we got nine boards out this size. We're not edging anything out because of the amount of sapwood. Let me show you. We had four pieces of sapwood, or four pieces of live edge. Uh, we trimmed off the outsides at four hands, yeah, four pieces there. Old those called a local crafter. They're looking for stuff like this. Take a look what's up next. Yep, you're gonna wanna come back for that video. That's black walnut, black walnut lumber. 26 inch diameter. Oh, that's on the small end too. We got a lot of good lumber coming out of that one. Excuse me. And here's the rest of what we got. Five more 10 inch wide boards. There's a real nice one there too. Well, there you have it guys. Some beautiful black walnut coming out of that log. We got nine really nice boards, 10 and a half feet long. Four quarters thick, beautiful stuff. The rest of it, will be going to a local crafter. We'll be making use of that and uh, turning out some beautiful crafts. And we're glad to help them out with that. Um, but I think that'll about wrap it up. If you're coming out every week to support us, guys, we definitely appreciate it. Uh, all the questions, all the comments. It's, uh, it's always good to hear from everybody. Uh, if you're new here and you haven't subscribed, consider it. Hit that subscribe button. When the notification bell pops up, click all and you'll get a notification every time we put a video out here on YouTube. All right. Also, like and share. Share it around social media, all over. Uh, you can also check us out on Facebook at Iron and Oak Sawmill and on Instagram at Iron underscore Oak underscore Sawmill. And that's about all the places we're on social media, but share those videos everywhere you can. Definitely appreciate that. Uh, it will definitely help out the channel. Uh, Iron and Oak Sawmill t-shirts. You can uh, check down in the description for a link, and hopefully we have some more merch by then. And also, uh, we started adding links for all the tools we buy. They are affiliate links. And clicking on those, you make a purchase. Or if you, uh, if you purchase something else through that link, it'll benefit the channel here. We definitely appreciate that. Everything we get through stuff like that goes right back into the channel. Same thing with the merch sales. All that goes back into the channel uh, to help bring better content for you guys out there. All right? We're going to go ahead and wrap this one up. Uh, if you have any questions about what we're doing here at the mill, uh, any of the tools we're using, the sawmill, the splitter, the tractor, the woodshed, whatever it is, put it down in the comment section. We're glad to help you out. And as always, thanks everybody for stopping out, and we'll see you at our next time.